welcome back problem 11.12 so statement is rod a b is made of steel for which yield strength is 450 megapascal and e is 200 gigapascal rod b c is made up of aluminum alloy for which yield sigma yield is 280 megapascal and e is 73 gigapascal determine the maximum strain energy that can be acquired by a composite rod a b c without causing any permanent deformation so this is the uh, figure 11.12 this is rod a b made up of steel and this is rod b c that is made up of aluminum all the data have been mentioned rod a b yield strength modulus of elasticity length of rod a b which is 1.2 meter rod b c is made up of aluminum alloy having yield strength 280 megapascal e is 73 gigapascal the length of this rod is 1.6 meter and diameter is 14 millimeter so you have to find the maximum strain energy without permanent deformation and you can see at point a we have a load p is applied clear so we will first find this load how we will find we have been given the allowable yield strength for steel as well as for aluminum so we will first find the safer load p that is that can be applied without permanent deformation so let's start with the solution so first we will find the uh, first we will find the area of each rod so first area we will find area of rod a b and area of rod bc so area of rod ab is equal to pi by 4 d square and this d square d a b square clearly so you have the value you can put it pi by 4 d a b is uh, d a b is 0 0.0 0 0.01 meter so when you solve it you will get the answer is 78.54 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter now area of rod bc is equal to pi by 4 d b c square so pi by 4 and the diameter is 0 0.014 square so when you solve it you will get the area of rod bc comes out to be 153.94 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter now we know that we have given yield strength sigma y for both rod clear so we will find the uh, stress uh, load as we know that sigma y is equal to p over a so from here you will get p is equal to sigma y into a so or rod for rod and this p will be equal to allowable okay so for rod uh, a b a b or rod a b we have p allowable will be equal to sigma yield of a b into area of a b area of a b is this one while sigma allowable for a b is 450 megapascal so you have to multiply both so 450 megapascals 450 into 10 raised to power 6 multiply by area is 78.54 into 10 raised to power minus 6 so p allowable is equal to 35.34 into 10 raised to power 3 newton and that is only for rod a b so on rod a b you can apply a load of 35.34 newton now we will also solve for rod b c 
we will find the p allowable for rod bc so it will be equal to sigma yield of bc into area of bc sigma yield is 280 megapascal clear and area is this one so 280 megapascal 280 into 10 to the power 6 multiplied by 153.94 into 10 to the power minus 6 so when you solve the, you will get the p allowable for rod bc is 43.103 into 10 to the power 3 newton now you can see this is the allowable load for rod a b clear and this is the allowable load for rod bc so both have the values but we will select the smallest one why because it will give you the it will be the safer load clear see if 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 we apply this load so it will exceed the yield strength of a b so definitely we will take the smallest one so i will write it use smaller value of p allowable I will write P allowable is equal to 35.34 into 10 to the power 3 Newton. Now we know that maximum strain energy is equal to strain energy of rod AB plus strain energy of rod BC. So we will put as P allowable we will write this p allowable is equal to p okay so we know that this will be equal to p into l of a b divided by two times e of a b into area of a b plus p into l of b c divided by two into e of bc into area of bc so you have all the value you can just put it so if p is 35.3534 into 10 to the power 3 length of ab is given as 1.2 meter so 1.2 divided by e is two times e what is e of a b so e of a b is 200 gigapascal so 200 into 10 to the power 9 multiply by area which we have calculated as 78.54 into 10 to the power minus 6 Plus, P is 35.34 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by length. Here is 1.6 meter. I will show you. This is the length. This E is 73. Divided by 2 times 73 gigapascal. So, 73 into 10 to the power 9 multiplied by area of BC. Which is? 153.94 into 10 to the power minus 6 so when you calculate it you will get the maximum strain energy that will be equal to 136.6 joule and this maximum strain energy is without permanent deformation i hope you have enjoyed this video and again uh, the most important thing is that in beginning you have to understand the meaning of question that what is question saying if you understand it 
so definitely 60 to 70 percent of your problem is solved also those who are new to my channel then you are requested to kindly subscribe my channel and keep watching thank you